What's an underdog? It's someone thought to have little chance of winning. It's Delta Sigma Phi. You know, we were a fraternity getting off the ground, and I'd been talking to people, and we just, you know, never founded a bike team because we didn't have the members, or we didn't have the people dedicated for it. The bike team came to life when Chapman returned to campus his sophomore year. The off-campus fraternity was new to IU and had limited resources. That first year, Delta Sigma Phi failed to qualify for the race. But the second year, it almost looked as if they had a chance. And then their wheel flew off. So we were on our third rider. He got through almost half a lap, and then it was just a manufacturer's error. The mechanic was saying that the wheel just couldn't take the pressure or something along those lines. So it was definitely kind of demoralizing because your first run, as most teams know, is probably when you have the most adrenaline, you're the most freshest. When that wheel happened, you know, we don't want to say we quit or anything like that, but it was definitely a little demoralizing to think that, wow, we were doing so well and all of a sudden. Still, Delta Sig hasn't given up on their dreams of qualifying just yet. Behind me, it may look just like any other house, but if you walk inside, you will find a basement masquerading as a bike room. With less than ideal weather conditions for biking here in Bloomington and limited resources, Delta Sigma Phi has been forced to get a little creative. The fundamentals of a team just come back, come down to like your 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 willingness to grind, like your you know having a bike, having rollers, like the minimum stuff. And I think we've got that covered in more. It obviously gives other teams advantage, you know, when they have certain rooms. But for us, it's more just like, are we gonna you know bust our tails? And if we can do that, and we got the bikes, and we're fine. This team depends on hard work, dedication, and well. Troy Chapman. Yeah, I don't know what we'd do without him, honestly. He's been on the team for four years now, so he knows all the ins and outs. Troy has really kind of gone out and, and sought advice from other people, other riders, other captains, and uh, he's built, you know, a pretty stable program. For Delta Sig, the little 500 is less about winning, but more about creating a legacy. I like to think that, you know, the underdog stories, the people you want to root for, just because, you know, we failed, we know what it feels like to, you know, come up short, and that's a terrible feeling, but I think it'd be really inspiring for me, at least, to see that after two years, I could actually finally, in my senior year, ride. It'd be kind of a, at least a storybook ending for me, and hopefully something that would kind of revitalize our team and get people motivated for the future, seeing what it looks like. Delta Sigma Phi hopes the third time's the charm at Qualls on March 24th. For IE Sports Media, I'm Courtney Robb.